besties it's your girl Catherine. welcome to my channel and welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to be doing a day in my life video where i show you guys everything that i do within a day it is currently 9 31 and i am preparing myself or getting ready to go to my friend peggy's house because we're going to hang out today and go to the mall and I'm currently putting on some CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. I have been neglecting my skin with moisturizer lately. My lips get very chapped easily. I have eczema, perioral dermatitis, like inflammation on my lips normally. So I have to use like a specific cream. I think I'm going to have to use that like later tonight. But we have some Vaseline water for hydration. Sunscreen. This is the Bior UV Watery gel SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 I like it because it doesn't show a really harsh white cast and I am like a quarter of the way almost done with this I do have other sunscreens I do want to use but this is like my OG I hope you guys are doing well I haven't been filming in a while even though it looks like I have been but I did take a couple days off for filming and just edited a couple of videos in advance so I think I talked to you guys like three days ago. Today's scent of the day is Victoria's Secret's Coconut Granita and also Oahu Coconut Sunset. I've gone through this so much. I'm so happy that I'm almost done with this because I'm excited that summer is almost over and fall is coming in. So you gotta use up your products, besties. But it's almost time. I gotta go to Peggy's house today and we're gonna go to Bath and Body Works. I'm so excited. Whew. This is gonna be fun, guys. It's gonna be a fun day. All right, besties. Okay, so we're finally at Bath and Body Works. We, Peggy and I, actually went right before they opened. We didn't really want to do it with like the rush. It was like the day before the weekend, so trying to get as much space as we could because normally Bath and Body Works is so crammed on the weekends anyways. I was assuming that the fall floor set two was going to be out but it wasn't out yet and I believe that it is out now so I need to go back. If you guys want me to do another walkthrough let me know down below for the new fall floor set. I can try to do like my first impressions and reactions. That means I kind of drive though that's okay but look at this little cute crab pocket back holder i love crabs i'm a cancer you guys that's like my little sign they had so many soap holders and also so many candle holders you guys will like fall in love i have been getting into candles so peggy and i were just at the whole entire white barn section like most of the time because there was a really new body care out so that fox one is really cute and this pumpkin cue is that, that one's really cute too but i have another one in mind and look at the really very simple single wick candles that one is what i was eyeing for yes a lot of people were deterring from it because of like the velvetiness but i honestly i like it a lot spoiler alert now halloween is literally right around the corner in two months time but i have seen so many pictures of like previews of christmas candles isn't that crazy and look at these new candles i saw i like the packaging so cute I'm obsessed. I think Peggy got both of those. <laughs> I sniffed and I was like, oh, that smells so good. And look at this right here. This is a really cute pumpkin candle warmer, but look at the bottom. Like that just makes me not want to buy it. You know, like imagine you have that and you want it to be like brand spanking new, you know, like you're going to buy it for right quality, good quality. Like if someone were to resell that and then you see on the bottom, it's like, oh, it's used, but it wasn't used because that was originally it. Anyways, I don't know. I think sometimes decor is a little overpriced for what it is but it is really cute like i said my store had so many candle holders like everyone can get one like they will not run out and this right here looks like the goblet of roses it's so pretty i really think that one's really nice and they had like the mini fragrances you guys raspberry chiffon i think that one smells really good by the way just from like smelling it through my mask bonfire bash is back you guys i like the packaging this year last year was just a little bland for me but this year so cute i actually really think the mini mist and the actual big spray like that is so cute and they also had fairy tale a lot of people said that fairy tale is really good i sniffed it through the mask but i don't really know how i feel about it but i'm gonna have to get it to let you guys know what the tea is of course and anyways fall is one of my favorite seasons hands down hands down and also pumpkin pecan waffles is like nowhere to be found in my store 
your girl's a sister stuttering right now, but there's no pumpkin pecan waffles. Like, is it so good that everyone's just like, yeah, there's no more, we gotta buy more. Pink Velvet Cuppy looks so pretty. I know the fauceted collection can be bland and generic to some people, but I think it's just so cute. A little bejeweled moment. And also, I have been MIA with Bath and Body Works for a little bit, but they had this new aromatherapy collection like so quick. I think my favorite is the chamomile because I'm a sucker for chamomile, but also the marigold's okay, but you have to really like florals for that. But I think the elder flower is really nice too. Very elegant, sophisticated, like a real balance bis you know what i'm saying anyways we have pink berry clouds i'm gonna be honest with you guys i haven't used my new fall fragrances because i've been trying to use up my project use it up products yeah what the heck Catherine? what the heck so i don't really have like an actual more impression than my first previous impression with my video link in the cards but that was all that we have for bath and body works we went to victoria's secret because peggy got to return some stuff yeah Let's go. This scent, I was really looking forward to try. I haven't smelled it since now, but it gives me very similar vibes of Boardwalk Taffy, but all I can smell is just like the alcohol. Here we go. Oh, hi. Vina. Vina. Oh, hi. <laughs> I just got home and I had to change my clothes because I like feeling comfy when I'm at home. Very minimum effort, that's okay. But I want to show you guys what I got at Bath and Body Works. Peggy gave me some things, which was really nice of her, but I got the pumpkin holder. It's so cute. Ah! I love it. And I used a free reward for this as well. So now I can put this right here and replace this holder, huh? And have like a pumpkin moment. Yes, what do we think? I like it a lot. It gives a really nice vibe, but being minimum effort that I did try, but I didn't really try, but I did try because I did use a free reward. I'm really excited to have that in my possession. And then Peggy gave me Mango Mai Tai. She had a backup of it and she was just like, yeah, you can have it if you want. And it smells so good. If you have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I'm obsessed with mango sounds. This smells amazing. I'm so happy that I got this. And then she also gave me her winter candy apple whipped confetti body scrub. She didn't really like it. She was like, you can have it if you want. I was just like, oh, thank you. So that's what I got today. I'm really excited to have like the newer ones coming out, like fairy tale you guys saw. There's ivory cashmere, there's raspberry chiffon. That one smells really good. I like that one. It's like a more of a mixed berry fragrance, but it's not just like fruit. It has like a different note into it, in my opinion. But Bath and Body Works, you guys, they release out so much stuff so quickly. Like it's like every two months they release new things and it's really hard to keep up and continue my collection when it's just like so much new stuff coming out. So I'm just like, I need to use up my old stuff to use the new stuff but then i can't use the new stuff during that time because i'm using my old stuff and it gets like a weird pattern let me know if you guys feel the same way let's make lunch together right now i haven't ate all day i'm super hungry for lunch i made a whole bunch of kimbap and i am super excited i didn't really have veggies per se but i did have pickled radish eggs and tuna so this is what it looks like let's have a bite together i have a little bit of white sauce here not really traditional but Let's go ahead. Mm, that is so good. Oh, I have one of these like little wooden mat thingies. My old roommate left it here. Then all you do is just buy some like nori paper, nori sheets. You can get them at like grocery stores like Publix or Walmart. But if you go to the Asian market, that's where it's like worth your bang for your buck. This is ten dollars for like a whole bunch of sheets. Like it's thick. The ones that you get at like the American grocery stores, there's like four or five for three bucks. Like a little bit of a scam. Not gonna lie. Mm, so good. I'm going to also have some of these. These are like probiotic yogurt drinks. They're very common in Asian countries and they're just like really nice and sweet and really good. As I eat my lunch, I'm going to email back some companies. I'm going to finish up and get some work done. All right, it's 6 30 and I'm not going to lie to you guys, I did work on some things. And then I took a nap because I deserved a nap. Afternoon naps are great, by the way. I suggest having an alarm to set up though so you don't sleep in way too late or having family or friends that consistently call you or text you so they can wake you up. But I need to clean my room because of my nap. And there's just some miscellaneous things on the floor. You guys know the drill. Yeah, just some random things. I'm going to pick that up and clean it right now. 
Chan chan. That only took like seven minutes. Yoo <laughs> Nice and clean. A typical day of my life, a realistic one that is, is pretty boring, especially when I'm not going out to do things. I'm normally a homebody. I love staying at home and being comfortable and cozy in my own environment i have been trying to have some sort of change lately but just living life anyways quick update i have not found a position job for my degree and here's the thing i do have a job and that is doing youtube i am fortunate enough to get paid to make youtube videos so many of my relatives of course and friends have asked are you gonna get like a social work job soon and that also involves with me questioning if i still want to stay in the state that i live in right now or if i'm going to be moving away across the country there's just so much stuff going on right now very clean very clean we're making um, summer rolls <laughs> in vietnamese it's called roi cung so that's that yeah. and this is me yeah. rolling it and you fold the edges i did get an order on amazon that i ordered for some wax warming lights and so i think this is a great time to do a little montage of me replacing my bulbs and putting wax smelt cubes into them let me break it down what i just put in my wax warmers i had three cubes of watermelon kiwi lemonade left from sensational so you can get these at walmart by the way this one, it smells just like watermelon lemonade from Bath & Body Works. A little bit more fruitier though, in my opinion. Then I put Sensational's Wonderland downstairs on the first floor. So it can all just like be within the watermelon kiwi lemonade, which was also downstairs. And that was a full clam. I did have two sugar lavender twists left. One had two cubes and one had three cubes. And I don't know how that happened, but it did. But this one is in my room and also my sister's room and semi in her bathroom. And then I also used Mystic for the bathroom that's right next to mine, the hallways, and in one of my sister's room and bathroom and then downstairs in the half bath. So that's what I'm wearing tonight. Let me know down below what you're warming. And for my scent of the day, I actually just showered and... I don't know where I put my rat tooth comb because the hairline just needs to be fixed. Don't know where I put her. It's okay. I'm probably gonna have to get another one. I wanted to use something a little bit relaxing. So I'm using Aromatherapy Sleep and I'm actually done with this. I'm so happy. This will be in my empties video. I'm also pairing it with sea salt and lavender. This one's so good. I don't go too harsh uh, when I spray it as I spray a lot more because I think this is just like a nice relaxing scent it's not too strong but it does give me like a little bit of a fragrance so that is what i'm wearing tonight and i think that is basically it i'm going to finish up my sister's going to paint my nails so hopefully in the next video you guys will see my nails painted and that is basically everything that is in a day in my life thank you guys so much for watching let me know down below what you guys want to see next with my videos i can be creative but i also can't can't also am not creative but yeah thank you guys so much for watching today's video and i will talk to you guys soon bye